Hello and welcome back. This morning I'm going to compare bottomless versus regular photo filter and see which one is better. I don't want to say better, but which one is better suited for Barista Express. And so this morning I'm going to use, I'm not going to use a niche or my San Anthony's distribution tool because most of us, we don't have that luxury to purchase niche or San Anthony. So this morning I'm going to use a built-in grinder and my old distribution tool. So this one I got from Amazon as well. It's about less than $20 at the time. And I think I'm going to use my dosing funnel. That's it. Oh, one more thing. I think I'm going to use my uh, uh, paper clip uh, distribution, the declimbing tool. That's what I'm going to use. And see how it goes. Meantime, I'm going to heat up some hot water. because I want to heat up my shot glasses. This morning I'm going to use a copy from Good Brothers Coffee. Uh, I have no idea what this is. It says something new every time. So I know uh, Good Brothers has this uh, variety of blend pack uh, that surprise you once in a while. So. This is a brand new bag. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm going to open it now. And I'm going to use 17.5 gram uh, for my dosing amounts. And hopefully, uh, my grounder setting is at number 8 for now. Hopefully, that's the right setting for this. Even though I do single dosing at a time, but uh, inside the built-in grinder has a little bit of uh, beans left from yesterday. So I'm just going to put handful of coffee beans here. I'm just going to flush it out first. I'm going to shoot for 1 to 2 ratio. So I got 30, what, 17 gram in, 17.5. So I'm looking for around like between 34 and 36 gram uh, extraction. You know, shot looks amazing, but you know what? That's way too fast. So I have to adjust my grinder setting before I do the comparison. So I'm at number eight right now. I'm going to go down to number seven. Uh, number seven. Okay, Let, let's go down to number seven. There was a much better shot than one before, but I, I, I guess I like to be a little bit more finer because I thought it's a bit too fast for the extraction, but you know what? I take it at this point. I'm just gonna mix it well here. And then, uh, cheers. Okay. Little tiny bit sour. It's definitely nice, very smooth. Wow, let's see. A lot of acidic, so so much sweet as well. It's quite nice, by the way. It's really nice. I like. I mean, I like them a little bit more longer extraction, but it's good. It's not bad. I take it. So next one. That's it, by the way, so temperature is fine as well. The great thing about the regular photo filter, with the bottomless photo filter, 
it's nothing's covered, it just come out. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. But overall, the shot quality is very good and very good tasting shot. Really good. And then very uh, temperature is really nice as well. So let's move on to bottomless photo filter. Now I'm gonna try what the bottomless photo filter is gonna be exactly the same setting as one before. So 17.5 uh, gram with grinder size at number seven. But meantime, I'm going to do a couple of dummy shots before. Just make sure I want to be the filter basket should be really nice and hot. Just make sure I'm going to do very carefully a declump, uh, declump the beans uh, carefully. So hopefully we're gonna get some very fluffy beans to work with. There was a little bit of channeling, but I thought it wasn't, I thought it was, it's not that bad, I thought. But again, it's, my extraction was too fast. Uh, but just like last time, I still got the 34 gram out. So at least we are comparing apple to apple here. I'm just gonna mix it well. Uh, by the way, so this is, uh, this cup is from pl a place called Copenhagen. Uh, I'm gonna put the link down below. This is a three ounce uh, espresso cup, so. It's pretty cool. Cheers. Again, it's gonna be the same taste. Actually, this is slightly, uh, what's the word? Cool, not the cooler, but with regular photo filter, whenever you drink espresso, it's really nice and hot. So this one is like, it's not as hot as a regular photo filter. It's, but it's perfect temperature when I drink it. So it's really good too. So again, the shot quality is about the same, okay? Actually, there's no difference because I'm using the same, the bribery baskets anyway. So, but comes to the channeling. The reason, the reason I buy a bottomless photo filter because it uh, looks really cool, the cool factor. But since I'm not using my uh, fancy grinder, uh, like Niche or San Anthony's, distribution tool. Whenever I use that, I get a really beautiful shot out of it. But uh, without the uh, niche or San Anthony tools, I mean, you really has to work at it. And so my channeling wasn't that bad earlier, but still, I think I can do a little better next time. But anyway, uh, I hope this video helps to uh, help you decide if, if bottomless photo filter is something you guys want to purchase or not and uh, you know again this is really cool to have but I'm not sure I'm still I'm still deciding if this is the right recommendation for you guys but again once you dialed in just right on Bristol Express man just nothing like it just just beautiful to watch and you know you did it right when you distribute it properly but uh, make sure make yourself this declumbing tool. This definitely helps uh, reducing channeling as well. So, uh, if you have any questions or comment, uh, please down below. I'm gonna put all the link below as well. So, uh, you have a great week and please be safe.